it has actually been way too long. Let me just go ahead and skip the pleasantries and let's dive right into this video. If you are new here, hi, hello. If you've been keeping up with me, you know that I met my husband on Bumble. So it feels like a full circle moment to be partnering with Bumble on today's video as I share with you guys why it is my absolute favorite dating app. So I guess you could say that I made the first move on my husband because you know with Bumble, women have to make the first move and start the conversation in order for a conversation to be had. And even though I've never really been one to kind of shoot my shot, I'm so glad I went ahead and made that move because three years later, we're happily married with a little baby, <laughs> which is insane to even think about. Now y'all, Bumble now has this compliment feature on the app where you can give a compliment by commenting and complimenting directly on someone's profile. I think this feature is perfect for girlies like me who know what we want, but might be a little too shy to go directly after it. This compliment feature is such a low pressure, feminine and kind way to let a man know that you're feeling him without doing way too much. So go ahead and start making your move today. I mean, who knows, a random match you make with some guy scrolling on the app one boring Friday night might turn into marriage and a kid three years later. You can click the link in the description box or download the app. Thank you Bumble for sponsoring today's video. Where do I start? <laughs> Where do I start? Life has been doing its thing since my last video on this app, like, <laughs> Life has really, has been really doing its big one, honestly. So I think I'm just gonna like divide this video by kind of talking about different things. So let's go ahead and start with motherhood because I think my last video was about like pregnancy or something like that. I can't even remember, but um, I'm a mama now. <laughs> I'm a mama and I've been a mama for the past seven months now. And it's been a beautiful, amazing, blissful journey and I just have so much to say about it. So for those of you who might not really know too much about what's going on with me right now, I have been posting on TikTok a lot lately these past couple of months and so TikTok has all this tea. So definitely go follow me and join the TikTok family over there as well. But just to kind of get you guys up to speed, labor was such a beautiful experience for me, truly. Like I loved my labor. Um, I wanted an unmedicated labor. I wanted to give birth vaginally and by the grace of God, I got just that. And personally for me, like, an unmedicated birth was not that, it was not that terrible. <laughs> like, I will do it again. By the grace of God, I will have a vaginal unmedicated birth for all my pregnancies. Like, I, I enjoyed it, I loved it. I was up and walking, literally, after I gave birth, the nurse helped me go to the bathroom like 10, 20 minutes later, I can't even remember. And I felt just fine. And like the next day I was walking just fine. Like I feel like the healing process was just really great for me. And I love that, I love that so much. I actually underestimated how difficult it is to like try and do my makeup while talking. So let's just not even do that. <laughs> but no, like labor was such an incredible experience for me and Honestly, since then, like motherhood itself has been such a beautiful journey. And I give God all the glory for that because I wouldn't lie to you. You know how on social media we'd be seeing those moms like, oh my God, this is so terrible. I regret having kids and I wish I didn't become a mom. That is not me. <laughs> that is not me. I've never felt more happy. Like even though this little band be waking me up in the middle of the night and be waking me up by, you know, touching my face and making all his noises and stuff like that. Like every morning he wakes up with a smile and like, I don't know, starting your day off with kisses and snuggles and smiles. Like, how do you just start your day off bad? I don't care how groggy I am, how tired I am, how stressed I am. Like just having that little guy in my life just kind of puts everything into perspective for me. And it's the most beautiful, amazing gift ever. And so that's how motherhood has been for me so far. Not to say that I haven't had my challenges, cause I definitely have, you know, especially with trying to like 
also rediscover myself as a woman um, post-pregnancy, post-delivery. That has been a journey in and of itself too. Like, you know, so many changes you go through hormonally, physically, emotionally, mentally, like it, it can be difficult. And then also trying to regain a sense of like, who am I? After sharing my body with another human being for like the past nine months, like how do I get back to like, not myself because I'm changed. Like I'm a different person, it is what it is, but how do I just rediscover who I am, my likes, my passions? And so I'm at a point in motherhood now, especially since my baby is sleeping a lot better and you know I'm getting like more rest, where I'm trying to be more intentional about figuring out like, you know, me, spending time on me, doing things for me, pouring into my cup and making sure that I'm my best self possible so that I can also pour into my family, into my son as best as I can because you can't pour from an empty cup and motherhood really makes that clear for me. So that's been that um, I've had a nanny <laughs> since the past like what one or two months no two months now and that has been so helpful with this motherhood journey like my motto with motherhood is if I can outsource it baby I'm gonna outsource it a nanny house cleaning I'm trying to figure out if there's laundry service too because I hate doing laundry and I just feel like that's just so important to like try and buy back my time and my energy because being a mom itself is already really like it takes a lot of emotional physical energy and so as much help as I can get baby I'm gonna take it <laughs> and I'm gonna pay for it happily and so that's been so helpful and so instrumental during this journey um I went through the whole postpartum period it was just me and my husband it was me and my husband doing postpartum and to be honest like it was such a peaceful blissful time and I really really like Ah, oh, it was incredible. It was incredible. And having that support from my husband and us just being on one page and figuring out this whole parenting thing together, that was just such a beautiful period. But no, God has been so good throughout my motherhood journey so far. And I'm really, 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 really excited. Um, in terms of future babies, Lord knows I want more. Lord, please, please, please. But you know, his time is best. So whenever baby number two comes, baby number two will be more than welcomed. And um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> now another challenge has not only just been motherhood, but I'm not just a mother, I'm a wife and I'm a law student. So it's like, you know, these things, like I don't wear these hats in isolation. Like I'm also juggling so many other things simultaneously. And so with like being a wife too, like that's been kind of difficult trying to like manage that with motherhood and all my other responsibilities because it's like, you know, I truly believe like a marriage and a good marriage, it takes work, it takes emotional energy, it takes having the tough conversations, it takes seeking help and finding resources if you're in a position where that's needed. And you know, all these things take time, it takes effort. And so one thing for me for sure, entering into my marriage and also, you know, just entering into my marriage as a mother as well, I don't ever wanna make my spouse feel like he's taking a back seat to everything. I personally believe my spouse comes first and if it has to be it, he comes before my children too. That's just my personal beliefs and my um, understanding of what marriage is because, you know, I feel like I can't serve my son, I can't serve my children in my fullest capacity if I'm not doing my duties as a wife and if our union, our marriage isn't where it needs to be. And as somebody who has grown up in a, you know, dysfunctional environment and has seen like, you know, what a breakdown in the marriage can do to the whole family unit, that's like my biggest fear in this chapter of life and so for me it's really important to ensure that I'm doing what needs to be done to ensure that our marriage is on lock so that we're able to show up the best we can as parents for our children and so you know that's been an adjustment too that's been a journey as well but I give God all the glory and it's like you know that's why it's really important to just make sure you know who you're marrying because like you know when things come up, pregnancy, 
who knows, life challenges, you start to see different versions of yourself, different versions of your partner. And, and it's like, you have to kind of like relearn yourself, relearn your spouse and, you know, be gracious to each other as you're going through those different changes. And so that has definitely been a journey. It definitely has, but it's like, I kind of feel like these years, like these childbearing years are like, you know, it was kind of like setting the foundation and the bedrock for our marriage and you know the waking up in the middle of the night because our child is crying isn't gonna last forever like this is a season we're gonna have our times where it's gonna be just us where we can get up and leave and go on vacation and it's just the two of us and leave them kids at home with somebody you know that time will come and so right now it's really just a matter of ensuring that you know as we're going through this difficult time trying to raise kids and stuff like that that we're still letting each other know that the love is still present the commitment the devotion is still present and you know we're gonna make it out on top period <laughs> so that's been that um and school y'all school school has been doing its thing i cannot believe that i'm graduating in two months like that sounds crazy to say like i'm graduating law school in two months time flew by time flew by so fast like Oh my gosh, it feels like just yesterday I was applying to law school or like studying for the LSAT. And now like I'm talking about studying for the bar, like studying for the bar and, you know, getting all of that in order. It's it's insane, like absolute insanity. But I'm just so grateful. Like these past three years have definitely been challenging for sure, um, but they've been so transformative. And I'm really grateful that I like stuck through it because when I tell you that my law school journey has not been easy, it has not been easy at all. Like I went through so many changes in these three years. I got married, I went through pregnancy, I had a baby. Um, so many different changes have happened and this is just what i'm saying there's so many things that have happened behind the scenes so many changes and you know oof, obstacles that i've experienced behind the scenes that i'm not even going to talk about that have really impacted my law school journey and so i just give god all the glory all thanks for just you know bringing me to this point and pat on my back for sticking through it because I'm not gonna lie to you, there were some times where I was just like, I mean, I know dropping out ain't the answer and it will never be the answer, but baby, I feel like it. <laughs> and I feel like giving up, but I was just so grateful to, to myself and to God for giving me the strength to really endure and get through this season. So now with graduating law school, you know the questions of what are you doing after you graduate? What's next? All that kind of stuff. And to be honest, there's just some question marks in some areas for me right now. And let me explain why. Um, with all the different changes that have happened in my life recently, one of the biggest ones too has just been like me becoming a business owner, um, which sounds crazy to say, but social media has really done its big one for me. Um, not only just in a sense of like building community and connecting with people, but also in a financial sense. And that's been different for me. I've never touched this kind of money before in my life. Um, and I'm, I'm very, very grateful. I'm very, very grateful to God. I will not lie to you. And it's definitely has has helped to make law school a bit more convenient and life more convenient and nicer and stuff like that. And I'm grateful. But I think the biggest thing that it's kind of the biggest gift that it's given me is to uh, discover my love for entrepreneurship, discover my love for being able to um, create my own schedule, set my own hours, um, decline clients if I choose to, set my rates, um, all of that. And I love that level of independence and freedom. Um, I came into law school without really working any like serious job, honestly. So I don't really have like corporate like experience type of thing. And the only job experience I have has been like, you know, back in high school, college days type stuff. And I don't lie to you, I was that girl to quit, okay? Um, my family would always clown me for this. Like, Michelle don't keep a job for longer than two weeks. Okay. <laughs> like, I, 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 I am, yeah, I was notorious for quitting a job. I just don't like it. It's not my cup of tea, baby. I'm gone. And so, you know, now that I'm about to be a lawyer out here and, you know, be a whole professional, 
obviously that's not how life goes, you know, hopefully not. But, you know, having my own business and making income and, you know, seeing the potential that's out there in the world and knowing that like my path doesn't have to be traditional, doesn't have to be linear. Like I literally have the power in this life to choose how I want my life to look like. And, you know, I've really been taking that seriously. And so even with like entering into the job market post law school, you know, that's something that's like really heavy on my mind. Like, how do I want my career to look like? What do I see myself doing? How do I serve myself, serve my passions, and also balance that with my desire to create income and generate income and utilize my law degree? So I'm asking myself a lot of those questions. Um, I knew since like when L, big law was not for me. Um, that super structured corporate environment I do not thrive in whatsoever. Um, I, I'm definitely more of a free spirited type of person. And so living a life where, you know, I, <laughs> my schedule is controlled by somebody else, baby. I, I don't think money, I don't think no amount of money gonna make me happy doing that. And one thing I've also learned and realized about myself is that I'm not really one to really chase money like that. Um, money is great, money does amazing things for you, obviously. But for me, like I also value balance in my life. I value peace of mind. And you know, those are some things that just money can never buy you. And so especially with being a mom, being a wife, like, you know, I wanna be able to make dinner at home and take my kids to their practices and be involved in the way I want to be involved in their lives and be present for my spouse and stuff like that. And so I'm really trying to understand and do my research and figure out what will my career look like so that I can be able to enjoy some of the things I want as well. Obviously, nothing's going to be perfect. You're going to have to make sacrifices in some degree like that's just what life is and that's okay I'm fine with that but I just don't want to be in a position where I'm making sacrifices that I'm not okay with making that ultimately make me really upset and not happy so there's that um, in terms of what that would look like in the legal sense I don't know I am exploring so many different things and because I love entrepreneurship who knows maybe i might pop up here one day and tell you hey i opened up my own law firm now <laughs> so we'll see where life takes me but you know that's just the beauty of this journey of life just you know doing your best and seeing where god directs your footsteps so that's where i'm at with that outside of that let's get into some personal things like me on a personal level um in this season of life i'm really 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 being intentional about prioritizing my mental health and my overall well-being um i've been in therapy consistently for like the past i don't know seven eight months and that has been really amazing and life-changing for me um especially with all the transitions i have going on in my life from career um, motherhood family like there's just so much going on and having that asset and that tool to be able to utilize to talk things through and get you know advice it's so helpful so 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 helpful so i've been so grateful for that and um even outside of that like i've had to let go of certain relationships in life and you know create really strong boundaries for my own good and the good of my my family and that's really been important to me too in this season because especially like i feel like when you become a mom it's like you, you i'm not just living life for myself you know and i feel like yeah when you become married it kind of clicks for you too in a little sense where it's like yeah it's not just me anymore it's me and my spouse but like i feel like when you become a mother when you become a parent it's like oh yeah yeah i'm really not just in here for myself so my well-being my mental health is important because it not only affects me not only affects my spouse but it affects a dependent a minor that is a hundred percent dependent on me for their well-being and things of that nature and it's like i don't know it just puts a different level of like i can't tolerate bs in you and it's like i'm really grateful for it so that insight has led me to you know shut the door on certain relationships because you know when 
certain relationships are bringing way more havoc and chaos and distraction and it's now starting to seep into your life in different areas of your life nah man you gotta let that go <laughs> so that's been that but it's also been a journey because obviously it's not easy to you know shut the door in certain relationships but you know it is what it is now back to more uplifting fun light-hearted things um i've been traveling with my little family um we went to florida for thanksgiving and then we went to cabo for um when did we go to cabo we went to cabo in january and now we're about to head out again in like two weeks um we're going to the caribbean and i'm just really blessed really blessed really happy to be able to just share my love for travel with our son like it's honestly a dream come true <laughs> it really is like God has truly just been so good and you know even with like graduating law school too like that's another thing y'all I can't wait to get out of this city oh my gosh I cannot wait to get get out of Austin um yeah we're in the process of looking and talking homes and stuff like that and so that's so exciting to be thinking about and considering where to move and all that kind of stuff but you know God has just been so good in this chapter of life obviously it has not been easy and I forgot to say um, my sister also lives with us now so that's been an adjustment as well being the guardian of a six month old and a 16 year old um, so yeah that's that's been an adjustment too during this season of life but you know my sister is important to me and means the world to me I'm not gonna go into details as to why she's living with me but she is and she's my legal guardian and I'm so grateful to be able to be responsible for her especially during this period of life you know like I think that's really a blessing so um yeah yo that's been life that's been life that's tea um go ahead and follow me on tiktok and keep up with me there because I definitely do post more there as well but I love being able to check in on here and I cannot wait till my life gets more stabilized because I will be coming back to YouTube more consistently but right now it's just too much trying to juggle with everything going on in life but anyway thanks so much for stopping by and chatting with me please give this video a like share and subscribe comment down below and say hey and also much thanks to Bumble for sponsoring today's video you a bad girl and your friends bad too oh you got the swag saucy drip of swag too oh you a bad girl and your friends bad too oh you got the swag saucy drip of swag